Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So for those of you that are interested, you can find the tarot schedule for this channel in the description box below. Now there is going to be an extended reading. I'm going to be exploring the energy of the individual that you're dealing with. If you're interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. So let's find out what is going on in your love life. For Pisces, what is happening in Pisces' love life? From next week, Friday, I will be doing Twin Flame readings on Friday. What is happening in Pisces? Love life. Pisces, love life. Okay, so very first card, it feels as if you are looking at this individual's life, trying to figure out what is going on. This seems to be a card of you observing this individual. This is also indicating, you know, the helpful nature that you bring to relationships. You're always there for people, taking care of individuals. I feel like there's a reason why this particular set of cards have come out. But let's see, what are the other cards? I feel like what it's indicating now is that you've always, always been there for this individual that you're dealing with. You've always been looking for opportunities to make their life better, to make their life easier. It feels as if, you know, you've been very caring and nurturing to this person. And what I'm seeing in terms of the central energies is an indication of the fact that, um, the person you're dealing with is kind of stuck in a situation, perhaps the two of you were married or someone is married to another person, but I see a situation of someone being held against their own will or being in a set of circumstances that are not beneficial for them. And what I see from your person, right? I'll clarify these cards in a moment. From your person is that they see you as their destiny. They see you as the chosen one, right? And there's so much regret and sadness here in this individual's energy, especially surrounding the way they acted or treated you. Now, this particular card has the imagery of two people that are off in the forest, you know, and they may have had some sort of disagreement, but there's a lot of love there. And I see that your person has a very loving and nurturing way towards you. And there is this energy of them feeling incredibly bad for what has happened in the course of the situation. So this is very interesting to me. Let's begin the clarification process. A lot of disappointment, regrets over what has happened between the two of you. It almost feels as if your person cannot get their head out of the sand because they might be ashamed or they might be feeling terribly, um, you know, unhappy about what happened between the two of you. There's an energy of them wishing they had stepped up to the plate. There's an energy of this individual wishing they had done more and that things didn't have to come to this point where it created the separation or created the sadness between you and themselves. Because what I see is someone is being 
held against their will. It feels as if they're being stuck in a situation. And maybe they don't have the courage to get out of that, or maybe something is going on. Right. Now, it doesn't have to mean that your person is in a third party situation. It could be indicating, for some of you they might be, but this could be indicating that your person doesn't have the free will to do what they want. And it feels as if they've been biding their time in a situation thinking that everything was going to be okay, that they could prolong something. It feels like that type of energy where they're just, you know... Not stepping up to the plate in the way they wish they had. And now they're sitting with regrets. I feel like you've done a lot for this individual and it's come from a really good place. I also feel as if you've been looking for an opportunity to love this person. You're either dealing with someone that is a very strong type of personality. Maybe they got locked down into a situation that wasn't necessarily good for them. But I feel like there's, um, there's a lot of sadness there from this person's energy. Regrets about how they handled the situation with you. Regrets about how they treated you what they could have done for you. There seems to be an energy where this individual was trying to escape from something. They might have held themselves back because they're, you know, whatever's going on in their life could be complicated. For some of you, this person might be already in a commitment or they might have kids with someone else. But I feel like they never recognized how special you are until they reached that really low point. There's something about you succeeding in something, yeah. I feel like your efforts of kindness and your generosity towards this individual made you stand out as someone that this individual never really anticipated to find or to meet. There's something about that. There's also this element of purity that I'm picking up from you. There's like this veiled innocence uh, that this individual now recognizes. Maybe a lot of people don't fully see it, but I feel like this individual sees you in a more softer, fragrant light. I feel like you're looking into this individual's world and you know that they're suffering. But you made a very, very powerful impression upon this individual's life. I'm definitely picking that up. And that's you know, the gist of what they're going through right now. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading to see what exactly is happening with your person. What are the uh, elements here that have caused this individual to go through this? What are they going to be doing as a result of it? Are they just going to be sitting in that sense of sadness and emptiness? Are they going to be severing that cordial knot, you know? It feels like it's necessary at this point to see what steps are they going to take going forward versus how they really feel right now. I'll also be providing advice. I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day, Pisces. Take care.